Getting power of attorney is not the same as getting guardianship. If your child has an intellectual or developmental disability, guardianship gives you the permanent legal right to make certain decisions for that child, like healthcare or where they live, and it removes that right from your child. A power of attorney is given by one person to another to make decisions in their place under certain conditions. It doesn't remove the grantor's right to make certain decisions on their own, and the power of attorney is revocable by the grantor at any time. When it comes to children with intellectual and developmental disabilities, there's one major complication with using power of attorney. By law, the grantor must have the capacity to understand the nature and the authority that they are giving. If a person with an intellectual disability doesn't have this capacity, the power of attorney is void on its face. Whoa, where did my beard go? Hey, I have one more favor to ask of you. Why don't you go ahead and scroll down below and leave a comment. Let's join the conversation and see what everybody's thinking about using powers of attorney versus getting guardianship for their kids.